Welcome back to Prominence Void's Invasion. You can see I've got one of my putrid trees planted back there. Um, I'm going to ignore the name because I think it's a lovely tree. I've got a stack worth of rich soil composting up. Just making sure to spread the mushrooms around to speed that process. I've put my spiral staircase in here. And I tamed that. It landed, so I kept getting on it until it stopped resisting, which is a terrible life lesson. Don't treat animals or people like that. And I've been coming up with a plan for today's episode. So I'm going to show you the tree chopper. That tree just grew, so it's good timing there. We're going to take a step back from create for the rest of the episode though I'm gonna get the steam drill from modern industrialization going and I'm gonna get the channeler made to show you that that's how we're gonna get our early game diamond duplication going so there's that channel is pretty easy to make it runs off of that mana you see in the bottom left-ish there while I hold it. Right now it's at 100. And uh, we're going to hold off on that for the moment. Because in order to get the steam drill, we've got to get some other stuff going. So let's put together our mechanic press. Okay, that's good. We're going to need some power. Oh, look, we just got bunch of quests. Anyway, we don't need to run this at light speed right now. So let's just um get a water wheel, maybe? Oh, it's two words. Fair enough. So let's get let's just make two cuz we can. Boom. Good. Put this away. Next. Um, next thing I need to show you. So, blast furnace. Iron. Do this real fast. See this polymorph symbol that showed up there? I'm going to click that and go to steel ingot. Instead of making the refined iron from Tech Reborn, we're making steel. So we can bypass a bunch of nonsense there. And while that's cooking up, let's put this down. Alright. So, where were we? Steel. We're gonna need seven of these. And we want one, two, three of them to be flattened. Oh my goodness, this thing is slow. Okay, that's uh that's actually impressive. Alright. Well, it'll be done in another, you know, four years or something. So, this recipe for the forge hammer yields two. And if we look at this, the other recipe is just regular iron. But on top, it's heavy weighted pressure plates, which are two iron ingots each. So, this recipe. Since it doesn't, it, it costs one charcoal to make that steel. So this is actually cheaper to get two than just use the regular iron to get one. So we're going to slap this down. Put the other one over here. Get rid of this dirt. So this is a fancy workstation. And we want... Uh, that goes there. We want one copper rod. We want a 
copper bolts. We want copper rings. And we want upper curved plates. Fancy. Now, these rings need these plates. Are you done yet? No, of course not. So, um, right. We want a furnace, that, and these need to be plates also. Done? Yes, thank you. Here, take these. Good. Alright. So let's see, one gets set aside, and then... Oops. Rat. There. Those go there, and then we get two copper gears. And then... I think it's those three corners. Those go there, that goes there. These go there, and then that? Yes! Haha! -ha. Copper drill head. Um, this extra bolt is basically garbage for the time being. And we need these to hurry up and be finished. Let's see. Ah, I might as well get a bucket of water. And... I'm gonna need fuel. There's some. Oh my goodness, you're ungodly slow. It's almost bedtime. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. I think I added Create Deco to this pack. Um, you might not need to be careful. Alright, I need three diamonds. There, furnace on each side, a bucket. And those large iron plates, the mining drill. Are you kidding me? They changed this and kept affixes on the mining drill. <laughs> it's got really bad affixes. That's that's unfortunate. Anyway, let's sleep. And now head down and show you this. But first, with HT's tree chop you can still gift and break logs. So we get just the one. And I need the glue. So how this works, this wastes glue, by the way, but it's worth it if you have lots of it. So this is going to go there, barrel there, glue that to the barrel, jump up here, hold shift, jump and place this, and then jump and place that. And now it's going to spin around once. And then it'll chop this all down and put it in the barrel. Boom. All right there, instantly. And the only problem is that it uses up durability on the glue. 
and it puts one durability on the X. Because you gotta break this. But, I mean, small price to pay, right? Once we have tree farm automated, it won't put any durability damage on anything. Oh, just this in here. Put that in there too. That was just for demonstration. And now... Let's go dig some stuff up. Now this steam mining drill has built-in silk touch and 3x3. Three three. We've broken through into another cave. Um, what we want is pulsar. That oh hey. So the other thing you can do is hold shift, and it'll just do the one. So even though zenith is in here, and that's the fabric apotheosis, last I checked, and I'm not gonna check on this thing. Uh, you couldn't silk touch the spawners to pick them up. Which is unfortunate. Okay, here we are. I want this stuff. This stuff. Not a whole lot of that. So, oh, the channeler. Shift and right click. Boom. Zip zap. Two diamonds out of the one thing. We can also do it to iron. And gold and other stuff. It's actually better to silk touch it since we have the forge hammer. Now, let's go over here. Where was it that I saw diamonds? And see, we are out of mana. We gotta wait for that to recharge, and it is a one to one second ratio here. And by the way, you can enable and disable by right clicking or silk touch well there we go there's a ender pearl need to lighten my load a little bit ow ow what the heck are you serious right now Okay, so we've got a mutant skeleton. And I take this thing on. like the answer is yes. So when you defeat him, he explodes. Did he kill my bird? Oh, that is horrible news. Rip bird, I never got to ride. No, not now. An ender pearl I need to go pick up. So we can pick up all his pieces. I guess I'll toss into here. I 
Did I get them all? There might be another rib somewhere. Wow, that really makes me sad. I was planning on doing an exploration episode next. Um, maybe not now. Anyway, forge hammer. We put the raw ore there. We're guaranteed two each. Now we got three with the channeler, but you have to wait for it to recharge. So, yeah. Um, and also, once we have crushing wheels, crushing the ore block is better. I think there and andesite in here. Uh. Okay, hold on. Stone cutting a limestone block for four pieces or an andesite block for one piece. Uh. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Well, that's clearly diorite and not andesite. Hold on. Alright, so newsflash, the quest book is wrong. That away, I do not have any diorite because I turned it all into andesite. I've got this guy right here. There we go. So, uh, we want some flint. We've got six chances. Oh, what? This, oh, come on. Now it's not flint anymore. That was like flint's one last useful feature. Right. Let's try. Okay. First try. Now we have plus one reach. Attack damage and durability don't matter at all. Also, you try to get rid of this minus two max health on this chest plate. Why don't I do that? First, repair it. Then, you can stick it in here. Now it's plus one. Awesome. Great success. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Anyway, until then, hope you have a great day. See ya.